Before we get into uh, the news of the week and the funny stuff, there has been some tragic news overnight. Isolde asked, uh, is it okay that 49 innocent people are dead in Christchurch? No. And clearly the answer is no. And I don't think she was even asking out of curiosity. Not in any way is that okay. There is absolutely no justification for a gunman to kill 49 men, women and children in a mosque in New Zealand overnight. Um, our thoughts are with the people of New Zealand today and with anyone affected by this tragedy. From what we know about the terrorist, and let's be honest, he's a terrorist, he's a white supremacist, he's from Australia, and he posted an online manifesto saying he carried out the attack to directly reduce immigration rates to European lands. He then broadcast the shooting on Facebook live as he did it, and the graphic footage was posted on a number of news websites here in the UK, some of whom have since apologised, thankfully. Uh, we're, we're all affected by it, and... It's a weird one. Normally, normally I would watch the news and I would really devour the news so that I'm across every little facet of it, regardless of what happens. And mm. I, I just couldn't watch it this morning. Yeah, I had to distract totally. myself. I had to watch something else. I, I just, obviously, it's, it's, it's tragic and it's horrendous. And the other part which I, I found horrendous in the aftermath was there was that Australian senator, that guy Fraser Anning, yep. who basically went and released a statement which essentially blamed Muslims. Yeah for what some gunman has done. And to me, it's, it's just abhorrent. The idea of using a tragedy where children have been killed to fuel your own agenda, I, yeah. I, just find it, that, I just find that absolutely disgusting. And I think, what, unfortunately, a lot of people are talking about him and they're not talking about the New Zealand Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, who was beautiful. She dealt with that absolutely beautifully today. If you want to watch any video clip, watch her. Don't watch anything about Fraser Anning. I think what's it's an awful event, and the whole, I agree with you, Adam. I've try you just try and keep away from it in a way, yeah. and that's what what kind of shocks me is this idea that this video has been shared by news websites and by people on they're putting it on YouTube or they'll put it on WhatsApp groups or whatever. And I think what you've got to remember with these news stories is, and when you're watching a news story, that is people's lives. Yeah. That isn't content for the internet. That is people's lives, and you should respect that. And it's a weird world that you can broadcast stuff like that. I mean, we have, to, we have to run by a lawyer how many times we can swear in our show, but this guy can just broadcast whatever he likes to the world. And look, it's fair to say there are very, very weird, murky parts of the internet that have encouraged this kind of stuff. And it's not stuff that I really know about, but there are bits and pieces where... You know, th this guy was an Australian in New Zealand uh, because he wanted to stop immigration. I'm not sure what the Maori word for irony is, but I reckon it's being used a lot today. It's really hard to know what to say in a time like this, but... OK, I'm going to say this. There's a lot of fear and tension in the world right now. Clearly, we know that. And in an age of social media, we all have to be responsible for what we put into that world. We have to ask ourselves if we're making the situation better or worse. If you post memes that refer to Islam as a religion of violence, you're not helping. If you compare Muslim women to letterboxes or pose in front of a photo with, of migrants with the headline Breaking Point, you're not helping. If you refer to refugees as locusts, you're actually contributing to the hate. If you put video of this shooting online after being advised not to, and if you continue to sponsor news sites that do that, you're making things worse. And it's all well and good to say this is an act of senseless violence, but if you sent vans around the country that said, we'll send you home if you're here illegally, you're not helping either. And if you're a politician who uses this, as a, this attack as an opportunity to push a racist agenda, you're not helping. The only people responsible for what happened in New Zealand are those that pulled the triggers. We can agree on that. And it's too late to stop what happened. But if you're actively spreading hate and false information or dehumanising the people you like to see as the enemy, you're helping to fuel the fire for the next attack to take place. Now, the BBC posted some advice for children this week on how to respond to violent stories like this, but I think this applies to adults as well. It said... Feel free to talk about your worries. It's normal to feel upset. Remember these things are rare and do things that make you happy. Is it true you said you wanted to do a play because you found uh, touring and doing stand-up very lonely? Very lonely. Are you Is joking? Very, yeah, yes. Oh, it's your no. tour support? <laughs> I find it lonely and depressing. 